claims she has regular contact with extraterrestrials, and her outrageous accounts have passed every scientific test. Doug Bruckner has the story of her alien encounters. Watch very closely, because if this video is what it's purported to be, you're looking at an alien in a spaceship. You can clearly see figures in the window, and you know, they turn their heads. Already studied and authenticated by some photo experts, it's just one of thousands of dazzling images from what's been hailed as the greatest UFO story ever told. I've been researching UFOs for 35 years, and I've never seen anything like it. It's an extraterrestrial mystery that's confounded everyone, from psychiatrists to scientists and respected UFO investigators. It's an authentic phenomenon. Something real is going on, but they have absolutely no idea as to what it is. Just as remarkable as the pictures themselves, the woman who took them. Professors, doctors, lawyers, anything you can think of, they were coming to, to do different tests on me. Her name is Dorothy Izat, the world's most unlikely UFO contactee. A 75-year-old great-grandmother who says she's been communicating with visitors from other worlds for 25 years. I've um, asked them to come closer, and they'll move closer. And I'll ask them if I can film them, if they give me permission to film them. These pictures are the result, showing everything from alien beings to spaceships to masses of glowing orbs in the sky and inexplicable flashes of light. All contained on more than 350 reels of film, this spry granny shot with her little Super 8 camera from the balcony of her Vancouver apartment. She remembers when it first happened on an otherwise ordinary afternoon back in 1974. I looked up in the sky and here was this enormous uh, craft that looks like a huge, um, gold, like diamond shaped thing up in the sky. This is without a doubt the most remarkable piece of footage she shot. It was where the, where the aliens showed up. It's an image that appeared during one of Dorothy's routine sky watches just recently. And then I noticed that in the window were a couple of aliens in the window. So I said, oh, dear, I, said, I can't see it. The light's so bright. I said, I need to film you. I said, can you turn the lights off the ship and I can film you? And they did. The lights go off. The aliens are there. And believe it or not, like all of Dorothy's footage, this has been scientifically tested and declared genuine, or at least not faked. There's not a lot that we know about it, but we know that it's real. California UFO researchers Monica Ward and Peter Gatilla have thoroughly investigated the Dorothy Izad phenomenon and are now compiling a book of their findings. There is a spiritual world and there is a non-spiritual world and material world and so forth. What Dorothy has done is she's bridged the gulf between the two. Meanwhile, Dorothy simply calls her ET friends life beings, who she says come from diverse parts of the universe to impart a simple message to mankind. No one wants to listen to it because it's so simple and it's so easy. It's, it's L-O-V-E, just love.